Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with quadratics, transformations of quadratics. So what we gotta do is we have to write an equation for each of these parabolas here. So what's happening is we are given certain characteristics of the parabola in words. So notice in part A, we have like a vertex of negative one and two. We're told it's opening downwards. There's no vertical stretch or compression. In part B, we're told there's a vertex of four and zero, opening upwards, vertical stretch by five. And then in part C, we got a vertex of five, negative two. It's opening downwards, vertical compression by one over two. So before what we were doing was we were given the equation and then describing some of these transformations. Well, now we are given the transformations and we have to make the equations. Now, just in general, transformations, after you take x squared, that base function, and then transform it, what form is it gonna take? It's gonna be in that vertex form, like this. So all of these are gonna be in this format. So if we can just get the a, the h, and then the k value for all of these, then we're all good. Now, if you remember, just as a quick review, vertex form, what is the vertex of this? What's nice about this form is we can get the vertex right away, and it's just that h and k value. And notice that for all of these, we are given the vertex. So automatically, we're given the h and k value. So for part a, notice that the h value is negative one, the k value is two. Okay, so the y equals x squared shifted by one to the left and then two units up. What's missing is the a value. And so the rest of the description is going to allow us to find out what the a value is. Now notice we're told it's opening downwards, the parabola is opening downwards. Whenever that happens, we know the a value is negative or the y equals x squared has been reflected in the x-axis. Both of those mean the same thing. And then we're told there's no vertical stretch or compression. So if you remember, for a negative A value, there was three cases. Either the A value is gonna be between zero and negative one, then there's a vertical compression. The A value can be negative one, there's no vertical stretch or compression then, or it's gonna be less than negative one, meaning there's gonna be a vertical stretch then. So no vertical stretch or compression, means the a value is just negative one, like that. And so now we got all three letters, we just have to plug them in to that general format. So we'd end up with y equals negative one, we could just put a negative there. And then be careful here, x minus h, so it's like x minus negative one, so it ends up being x plus one. All right? remember these signs, they always change, and then we have the plus two at the end. And so that's the answer for part A. So moving on to part B, using the same thing, we got an H value of four, we got a K value in this case of zero, right? The Y value of the vertex is zero. And then the A value we're told is opening upwards. So we know the A value is gonna be positive. There's a vertical stretch by five. So the A value is just five. So taking all this, plugging it into that format, we end up with that right there. There's like a plus zero at the end here, the plus K value, but we don't have to write that. So that ends up being part B. And then finally part C, vertex five, negative two. So H is five, K is negative two. Uh, opening downward, so the A value is gonna be negative. And then there's a compression by one over two. So we got one over two like that. So the A value is negative one over two. If it was opening upwards, it would be positive one over two. So we end up with y equals negative one over two, uh, x minus five squared minus two, right? The k value of negative two, right? So if you get something like this, just go through each of those characteristics separately, just get your h, k, and a value, and then just plug it into that general format.